Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the time may be. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. I am James, also known in game as Widowed, and I'm here today to talk about my plan for my route on day one of the Trailblazer League. And uh, the Trailblazer Reloaded League, sorry, this is my first league's experience. I did post my plan a few days ago as a video. Uh, however, I've made some revisions to that plan since then. We're not going to be going over those just now, though. For the moment, we are going to be going over the day one. Uh, first, really, like, 30 minutes of gameplay, uh, which should take us up to enough league points for our first relic um so yeah i've given myself i'm on my regular account here uh just to do like a simulated run so obviously my levels are higher than the, what they'd usually be um but there were no level requirements for this i picked the uh the tasks basically they got released the other day on the wiki and i picked the tasks that uh had no requirements to do that you could do right away that were quick and easy uh, none of them take more than five or ten minutes uh most of them are a single click or just a few clicks so yeah we're going to be going through those tasks one by one in total i think there is uh i have 44 tasks that will get us to 500 league points and if the points ranks relic systems are the same as last time well 500 points will unlock you your first relic or second if you count the one that you get just for being here so not gonna waste any more time um as i said i'd give myself the tutorial island invent minus a couple things that i knew we wouldn't need um i've just replaced some of the bronze items with trading weapons as well because of the same stats and i didn't have the bronze ones in my bank so i just grabbed the trading ones uh, i've also got some staminas and energies here but that's just so i can simulate the uh, infinite run energy that is trailblazer league and i've got graceful on for the exact same reason uh, you'll also see a couple of runes there in the bottom those are for a lumbridge teleport which we will have access to during the league from there's like a menu where you can teleport to a default location in any of the regions that you've unlocked um assuming it's the same location as last time the one for mist Hallen will be in lumbridge so that's why i've got these just to simulate that uh and it will be slightly quicker for me and the skull scepter there to teleport me to the um stronghold of security because i've already used count check obviously on this account and that's how we're going to get there on the new account all right so that explains everything extra that i've got down here that you may have noticed without any more nonsense we're going to get into step one of the plan now the very first task we're going to do is to open the leagues menu of course i cannot access the leagues menu right now uh, but that should be a very simple task so here's me opening the combat tasks panel because that's about the equivalent of what i expect this task to be moving on we're going to complete the leagues tutorial uh i think i know what i'm doing there should be a guy somewhere around here i imagine a league's tutor that you want to talk to to do that if it's not through tutorial island i'm not sure if we're gonna to have to actually go through tutorial island or not um you want to talk to the league's tutor anyway so that he will give you this dream and stuff which you can get just by being on this troubles league uh so yeah we're going to open the league's menu complete the tutorial speak to the guy to get our dream and stuff and then we're moving on to task number three which is to pickpocket this man uh you can see i've changed my swap left click to pickpocket just so i can do this quicker because we're actually going to pickpocket him 28 times uh we want to build up 28 coin pouches and with the five times at xp that we get in leagues this should also be enough to take thieving up to level 10 uh, unless my calculations were absolutely garbage which they could be but uh, it sh it'll take us to at least level 5 which is what we need and possibly level 10 uh, which could check off another list uh, task on the list 
open all these coin pouches for task number four open 28 coin pouches at once and we should have the level up first level five and first level ten also done by this point we're gonna run over here and kill a goblin equip your draymond staff because it has better attack bonuses than anything else you have in your inventory who needs a training sword pick up the goblin's bones once you've killed it and bury them that is task number eight and nine for the goblin and the bones being buried running south we are going to run into the graveyard down here for task number 10 which is to dance in a graveyard and then we're going to make a quick visit to death stone bin for task number 11. You'll obviously have to have a conversation with him here, but nothing too deep. From here, task number 12 is going to be to come south and fish for some shrimp. I recommend catching two, as you will be cooking them later, and you want to catch two just in case you burn the first one. You might even want to get three if you're super uh, safe about it. But that is up to you. Uh, obviously I'm just catching anchovies because I'm all 70 fishing so yeah there we go I'm just going to get the one because I'm not going to burn it uh, next task is to mine some copper we'll go get one copper over here these are going to be hotly contested I imagine and then 10 tin Once you've got your 10 tin, we are going to move over to the shed over here. Uh, and you should have your German staff equipped anyway, but if you don't, put it on now before you walk into this shed. We're going to enter Zanaris, and that is task number 15. Once we're in Zanaris, if you want, if you have space for some reason, you can pick up that egg right there. Uh, you should have more space than I do. If not, we can pick up an uh, egg later. We're going to go over to the furnace and smell ourselves a bronze bar. That's task number 16. Next up, head to the bank, dump all the shit that you don't need for now, which is going to be the bronze bar, the tin ore, um, the small fish in there and the pickaxe don't really need the training sword and bow at all so just gonna throw them in too keep the cash on you for now and while I'm at this bank I'm actually just gonna grab 10k out to because I won't be able to claim it from the strongholds of security uh, and by the time I need it we will have been there okay from here we're going to go and use the fairy ring to uh, go to CKR that is going to be just north of Shiloh village and we're going here to buy ourselves a fishing rod and some bait so we can catch our sardine for Gertrude's cat in a little bit. Not only that, was of course the task to use the fairy ring. Double sit the stam if you're an idiot. Not that you have one. Don't need it anyway. You have to worry about running out of run and neither will I. I'm excited for this Trailblazer League. Like I say, it's my first time doing a league, but it seems really fun and exciting. Um, and I'm all for theory crafting. That's like right up my alley, alley so. Try not to get killed by that guy. Fucking hell. Eight damage. That might have twatted me it. Anyway, we're going to trade this guy, get ourselves some fishing bait and a fishing rod. And then we are going to pop the home telly, which is task number 18. All these have been 10 point easy tasks so far. Um, yeah, I'll mention when there's any that are larger. 
but for the most part, these are mostly 10 pointers and a couple of 40s. Alright, once you're here, go chop a tree. It's going to be task number 19. Drop an extra one because you'll need another log later on. I'm going to burn this log right here and then cook the shrimp on it. Chop the log, burn the log, cook the shrimp. 19, 20, 21. From here, we are going to run north. And I'm going to remember that I should also have a pot and a bucket in my inventory. Uh, I think you get one from Tutorial Island, but if you don't for some reason, or you don't have one like I didn't, you can just grab one there at the general store. I think they're only one coin each, so should have no issues due to the pickpockets earlier. Now, I'm going to run up here. We're going to grab an egg. If you didn't pick one up earlier in Zanaris. Because we are going to be doing Cook's Assistant. Uh, so that we can use the Lumbridge range. After you've picked your wheat, don't forget to cry. Because that is a task. Cry in a wheat field. Number 22. And then we're going to go and do number 23. Make some flour. Up to the top floor. Don't forget to not be skill specs. I went up. Right after I trolled. Serves me fucking right. <laughs> Alright, we're off into this field to milk ourselves a cow. Making flour was 23, milking a cow is 24. And once we've got ourselves some lovely milk, we are going to kill this cow right next to it to get ourselves some beef. May as well take the cow hide as well. Get yourself out of the cow pen and run west a bit. Task number 25 is to enter Drano Manor. Twenty-five done. The next thing is to get a chair to follow you around. If you're lucky and there isn't already chairs following everyone else around, then you'll do it just then like I did. And you'll be all done with task number 26 as well. If not, I guess you just have to run around like you're trying to attract their attention. I actually did a test run before this and it took me like three minutes to get a chair to follow me just because they just weren't for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, get the chair to follow you and then head out of here. You can grab the spade, bucket and helm if you want just to have them on the account done. And then we are going to... Drano. First thing we're going to do in Drano is run some laps. In fact, I am going to run just the one lap because I don't need to run 10 laps, uh, but we do on day one. Make sure you run 10 laps. That's going to get us our first medium challenge done for 40 points. So well worth it. And hopefully along the way, you will also pick yourself a mark of grace up uh, if you don't you could stay a bit longer to try and get one because it is an extra 10 points and if not you'll have to make them up somewhere else but fingers crossed 10 laps should be enough to get yourself a mark of grace and get number 30 done uh, so to be clear 27 is run a lap 28 is drain or rooftop 29 is drain or rooftop times 10 and 30 is a mark of grace after that we are going to go over here and tell aggie she's an ugly bitch and she is going to rob us of 20 whole coins god damn it was five last time maybe it's a random thing i don't know anyway that's task 31 to insult her task 32 was going to be to anger the wise old man but i found out you can't actually do that until after a subquest or something 
Go catch yourself a sardine. Gonna need this for Gertrude's cat. And once we've done this, we can do the Lumbridge Telly, which for you will be through the region selection screen. Uh, I believe that's how you get it. Sardine, obviously, is what we're looking for. Why did I do a home telly? I'm an idiot. Uh, technical difficulties, please bear with us. Okay, once you've got your sardine, you teleport to Lumbridge through your leagues menu and we're gonna go start and turn in cook's assistant i'm just gonna drop the items because obviously the quest is already done on this account use the range to cook your sardine and that's wrong so i just realized as i was making this uh, the one of my steps was actually wrong. You don't want to cook the sardine. Do not cook your sardine. You want a raw sardine. Uh, I fucked it up because I can't actually run the quest, obviously. I just forgot that it was meant to be raw. So don't cook your sardine. Come turn in Cook's Assistant and cook your beef. That will get you task number 32, which is to use the Lumbridge range. And then task number 33 is to burn any food. So we're going to cook on it once more to get ourselves the burnt meat. All right. After this, we are going to count check to teleport to the stronghold of security. If you ask him this option, he will teleport you. Where can I learn more about security? But he won't teleport me because I've already done it. So we're going to use the Skull Scepter. Now you're going to go through and complete each floor of the Stronghold of Security. I don't think we're going to be able to teleport through it, but who knows? Maybe they will let us. Uh, if not, you're just going to be running through it, of course, collecting the shit from every floor getting yourself a nice 10k stack and then at the very bottom we have task number 34 for collecting the boots um gonna get the fancier boots because then you <coughs> i've always been a fancy boots man myself but fancier can't say no best of both worlds climb up and go east to start Gertrude's cat. Talk to Gertrude to start the quest and then go pick up some Dougal leaves from her back garden. You're going to use them on your raw sardine to season it. And then we're just going to make sure that we're doing the steps of this along the way, which I believe is to talk to the two kids up here. Um, we are also going to kill a guard. For task number 36. 35 is Gertrude's cat, even though we're not turning it in until a bit later on. Hopefully we don't die to this guard. I haven't really planned out how this is going to go on a fresh account. Uh, so if this goes badly, then I might just come back to it later or do another one. Don't scare away the dog. You want to pet the dog. Pet the dog because that is task number 37. And then we are going to make our way over to the other side of the city. The 38, which is to steal from the tea stall. You do need a level 5 thieving for this. However, we have that already thanks to the extra pickpocketing we did in Lumbridge. Once you've got yourself a nice lovely cup of tea, you are going to keep it, don't drink it, and run up to start the Daddy's Home quest. Uh, once complete, this is going to give us uh, a player and house, which is a task and something that you'll very much want. We'll also give you some construction XP and uh, some supplies, which will be very handy for the start of the account. 
Uh, I did the wrong thing here, but yeah, you're going to talk to him, not contract him. Oh, I didn't do the wrong thing. It's just that's all you can talk to him about now. You're going to get the quest, obviously. He's going to ask you to go down to his dad's house. You go there, you do some shit for him, uh, and then you go to the lumberyard. Once you're at the lumberyard, you want to make a normal plank. That is going to be task number 39. And then we're going to run to the Fossil Island barge. Make sure that you also do the steps to Gertrude's cat and uh, Daddy's home while you're there, obviously. Again, I, I can't show the quest progress, of course, because... Um, not a fresh account. Uh, the resources from Daddy's home are actually going to be useful to build this bank chest later on, but for now we don't have them. We are just going to pet this dog and enter in Fossil Island and petting the dog in the bank is two more tasks. That's 40 and 41. We are now going to go uh, back to the dig site. And we're going to run all the way down to where the panning station is and pan for an uncut jade. Grab the panning tray when you turn up and then go ask this guy what his fishing level is. Keep doing this until you get a jade. And that is one uncut jade. We're almost done, just two tasks left. We are gonna go turn in the daddy's home quest, which will get us our player owned house. And that will be task number 43. Run back to Varrock and go down to the guy's house to fix it up once you've done that. We're going north, back to turn in the quest uh, up here. That'll be task number 43. We've only got one more task and then we just need to turn in Gertrude's cat and that will be 500 points. Speak to Marlow to turn in the quest. He'll give you a supply box as well. Then we're going to go into the church, and upstairs in the church, there is a lovely old woman called Elsie who asks you for a cup of tea. Good job, we robbed one from the stall earlier. We're going to give her a tea, and she's going to tell us a story, and we're going to pretend to be interested before leaving. And then, all we have to do is go turn in Gertrude's cat. And that's it, folks. That should be the first 500 points in about 20, 30 minutes. Might take a bit longer. It could be your first hour, depending on like competition for resources and stuff like that. Cause I know these worlds are gonna be super busy and it's not gonna be as simple as just walking up, doing the thing and leaving a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, this should take us up to 500 points, um, which hopefully will be enough to unlock our first relic aside from the one that we're given at default we've also got gertrude's cat done we've got a player around house and we've got 10 thieving levels and some other experience gained along the way um i do have some extra tasks planned out to take up to a thousand points but i'm not going to go over those in this video however they are in my task list spreadsheet which I will leave a link to in the description of the video if you want to check that out so you can follow along with these once you're doing it for yourself uh, feel free to, to go use that spreadsheet it's what I'm going to be doing on the day and yeah uh, I don't think there's really much else to say in this video I'm really really hyped for leagues um, I'm hoping to get my first relic and I think the first region unlock was at 60 last time. I don't know if it's going to 60 tasks last time. I don't know if it's going to be the same this time, but um, the extra 500 points worth would take me up to 64 tasks. So I've sort of got that planned out as well for the next step. Uh, and then we should be able to get into Kandarin, as you know, if you've watched my 
my uh, League Master Plan video, and if you haven't, I recommend you go watch it. There'll be a link somewhere, up somewhere. Yeah, I'm good at this. Anyway, that is going to be all from me in this one. If you've enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video. It super helps push me into the algorithm and makes more people like you able to see my content, which is fantastic and something I would love. Uh, and if you really like the content, consider subscribing to the channel because there's going to be plenty more coming. I'm going to be covering leagues pretty hardcore, I've decided. Uh, I'm going to be trying to post at least every day for like the first week or two and then at least weekly after that for the rest of leagues. I don't know why, but I've decided I'm going to take this super seriously and go ham on it. Um, and it's going to be a fun time. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more of that. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything uh, about this that was unclear that you want clarification on. Or if you plan to follow a very similar strategy. That would be cool to see as well. Uh, just to see what other methods people have come up with. Because this seems like the a pretty optimal route for me to get 500 points in half an hour or so. And get the first relic online. Alright, until next time, which I'm not sure if that will be the f day one of leagues. There'll probably be something out before then. Until then, take care.